Hey, Anthony. So, we're finally here, huh? August. Never thought we'd actually get this far, you know? I thought maybe the school year would just drag on forever, and I'd never have to sit down and write you this. I actually don't even know what to say or where to begin. But you asked me to write you something honest, so I'll give it my best shot. Okay. Anthony, you might just be about the strangest person I have ever met in the, what, seven years or so that I've known you? Though, I'm not sure if strange is even the best word to use. Goofy? Ridiculous? Probably still an understatement. Because, see, you've always had this talent for getting us into the craziest situations. Like, okay, remember three weeks ago in the park when you nearly got us arrested by park rangers for squirrel fishing, of all things? Or oh, that time when you thought it'd be a great idea to try getting into shape in 90 degree weather? Or even that time when you nearly got us mauled by that stray cat you tried to feed? Well, mostly me. Christ. I am sure as hell not falling for the It's Senior Year card ever again in college. That's the thing though. It's still pretty weird getting a grip on the fact that you are 18. Like, legal. Allowed to vote. Have a voice in the fate of our nation. Chance at a million dollars. Trusted with actual responsibilities, that kind of stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, but <laughs> you still look like a freaking 13 year old. In fact, I'm pretty sure if you asked nicely enough, you could still get away with 16 or under free passes at museums and Six Flags or whatever. Yeah, you'll fight me on that one, but if I hadn't known you, I would have never guessed that you were college age. I mean, it's like you've got this weird sense of humor that you've carried straight from middle school. You laugh at practically everything. Bad jokes, inanimate objects. Remember that time when you were going through that phase where you were just unable to keep it together any time I brought up anything to do with muffins? Just... what? And you do this thing where you have to smack me for some reason every time you have a laughing thing. Usually when I'm not paying attention. And then there's all the other times when you just straight up assault whatever's in my hand in order to get my attention. You know, people are always complaining about the struggle in their lives. And, if I'm being completely honest, sometimes you can be one heck of a struggle factory, just churning out one crazy scheme after another. Like, remember my first girlfriend, Leona? That girl I met in statistics last year? Nice, charming, and mature. God, I fell so hard for her. I was just determined to use my knightly charms to win her over. Of course, when I introduced her to you, 
and you thought it'd be funny to do that thing where you take advantage of the fact that I'm ticklish and jab me in the sides. Yeah, well, she wouldn't take the night act real seriously after that. Thanks for that, bud. But... This isn't getting at what I'm trying to tell you. Really... I just don't know how to say it. See, Anthony... I know... I know I keep making fun of you. For everything you do, all your jokes, and your personality. But I've never meant anything by it. You know, it's just a thing I do with you, right? Our shtick. It's just banter. I guess it's the only way I know how to talk with you, you know? But... Now that we're so close to the end... I've been thinking... Just, what would my life have been like if you and I had never met seven years back? If you were never there to crack the bad jokes or the slapstick humor? Or if you weren't around to just listen to my crap about school and Leona and just general teenage angst and shit? Or, hell, if I had no one to share those god-blessed Irish curry fries with, which everyone else seems to hate, When I think about it, I just can't see it happening. Oh god, look at me being all sappy over this. But if I had never met you, well, I'm not sure who I'd be right now. I guess what I'm trying to say is... Well, to be completely honest, I'm gonna miss you a lot, man. Hope you end up enjoying Chicago. I have an aunt there, she tells me it's a nice place. Good pizza and all, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Just, just be sure to hit me up for a round of squirrel fishing when you get back, alright? It was a little fun. Cheers, Jacob. <laughs>